You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Out of the patronage of the first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Bahrain Olympic Committee president, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Open Mixed Martial Arts Championship was held, organized by BMMAF under the supervision of the Bahrain Combat Sports Council, the BCSC. The event was attended by His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, president of the BCSC, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Youth and Sports Minister Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, and several senior officials. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid underlined the continued support for the combat sports in order to contribute to the formation of national teams. His Honor Sheikh Khalid said that the continued support to MMA is part of the efforts to develop this game in an effort to form national teams that are able to compete for top honors. He noted Bahrain's accomplishments in the sport in 2019, including winning the Asian Championship and African Championship titles and finishing second in the European Championship and the World Championship, thanks to which Bahrain has stopped the general standing of the IMMAF WMMAA. The event witnessed the participation of 33 final representing 10 countries, Saudi Arabia, the U.S., Spain, Kuwait, Oman, Egypt, Lebanon, Algeria, and Morocco. His Honor Sheikh Khalid also met Bahraini fighter Hussein Ayad, who on the sidelines of the event, to check on his recovery following a severe injury he sustained during Brave 29. The president of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended the Manarat Al Bahrain Show Jumping Championship held under his patronage, which took place at the Military Sports Association in Rafah. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah said the championship witnessed a wide participation of riders thanks to the support and follow up of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh. Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the support of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa also thanked Minarat Al Bahrain Company for its generous support for the Federation and Championship. His Highness also praised the great efforts made by the organizing committee of the Championship, wishing them further success. The chairman of the Minarat Al Bahrain Company presented trophies to the winners, where the rider Sabr Salman Faraj won the title of the great competition.
Under the patronage of the capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, the annual event, Hello February Festival, or Hello Febraya, returns to Water Garden City in celebration of Kuwait's National Day amidst the distinguished presence of Kuwaiti visitors and residents. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. In a wonderful display of love and brotherhood between the Bahraini and Kuwaiti people, Hello February Festival celebrates the Kuwaiti National Day with many activities. The capital governor affirmed that what distinguishes the relations between the two countries is the brotherhood that is rooted in the history of both nations and that the cooperation and solidarity linked between them is a living example to be emulated at all levels. We're happy to host uh, Hala Febrayer in Bahrain this year for the second time with the Water Garden, uh, celebrating Kuwait National Day. And we're glad uh, you can see the beautiful celebration with the fireworks. A lot of people from Bahrain and Kuwait are here. We have very strong relationship with Kuwait, uh, whether you know on a national or uh, family-wise. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad a lot of Kuwaitis are here in Bahrain celebrating with us. And we shall every year we'll have this kind of celebration in Bahrain. The celebration included a spectacular fireworks show, live music, a variety of performances in celebration of this happy occasion. Kuwaiti visitors and residents were celebrating with their Bahraini brothers and other DCC visitors, showcasing their deep-rooted friendship and sincere sentiments. The celebration also witnessed a wide participation of businesses to display their products. It's a brotherhood. We've been together for ages. Uh, Kuwaitis have been investing in Bahrain for a long time. We are proud to have investors from Kuwait in the Water Garden City here. Uh, we celebrate their National Day for the second time. We've done it last year, it was very successful. And this year as well, it's very successful. Uh, and we are happy to, you know, for their happiness. We are medical students in Arabic Gulf University. Uh, today we have this booth, which we will represent uh, our love and happiness and uh, we are glad that we are celebrating about Kuwait National Day. The unique bond between the two countries is a source of pride and such celebrations highlight the long-standing brotherhood between not only governments but also peoples. Having the Hello February Festival here in the Kingdom of Bahrain in celebration of the Kuwaiti National Day showcases the brotherhood and sincere friendship between the two countries on all levels, especially between peoples. Heba Abdel Ghaffar, Bahrain International. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Organization of the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments and the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the Holy Quran Affairs Department at the Ministry concluded the final qualifications for the 25th Bahrain Holy Quran Grand Prix. Male winners will be honored during the closing ceremony to be held during the holy month of Ramadan, while female ones will be honored in April under the patronage of the wife of His Majesty the King, the President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. These and Under Secretary for Islamic Affairs, Dr. Mohammed Tahar Al Gatlan, affirmed that the award recorded in its 25th edition the highest participation rate since its inception, where the total number of participants reached 4,611 contestants. He pointed out that the competition has a number of partnerships with the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Interior, represented in the Reform and Rehabilitation Department, and the Ministry of Labor and Social Development, which embodies a concept of community partnership and integration between institutions in its public and private sectors. Dr. Gatlan noted that His Majesty the King's royal patronage of this award for 25 years is evidence of His Majesty's keenness on serving the Quran and spreading its teachings and values among various groups of society. The UN envoy for Libya, Hassan Salame, said that the ceasefire talks between Libya's warring sides are going in the right direction while hitting hurdles over violations of an arms embargo and a truce declared last month. In an interview during a break in military talks in Geneva, he said that he expected political level talks to convene in the Swiss city on February the 26th, but was already working on confidence building measures. A day earlier, he had said that his mission to secure a lasting ceasefire and eventually a political solution was very difficult but possible. 
The United Arab Emirates Ministry of Health announced that an Iranian visitor and his wife were diagnosed with coronavirus. The man, who is 70 years old, is in an unstable condition and under intensive care. His wife, 64 years old, was diagnosed during a screening of persons in contact with confirmed cases. The two cases today bring the total number of coronavirus in the UAE to 13. So far, three patients have fully recovered. On Friday, the ministry reported that it had been following a very effective epidemiological monitoring mechanism and all the necessary precautions to ensure highly efficient preventative measures were taken, including checkups and observation of people in contact with patients. Meanwhile, a second person in Italy has died from complications from the new coronavirus. The death of a woman in the northern region of Lombardy follows that of a 78-year-old man who died on Friday. The new wave of cases in Italy's northern region have triggered shutdowns of shops, offices and community centres.